What is going on? My reefing fam, March here. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Fragbox TV. What are we going to talk about today? It's your host, March. It's your host. You don't like, do you not like when I say that? It's a TV channel. It's, really funny. it's funny. You're funny. Okay, guys, am I allowed to keep saying it's your host, March? Yeah, you may have noticed in the last few videos when I start, I go, how do I do it? Hey, reefing fam, me, March, Fragbox TV. Man, she threw me for a loop. Dude, you're messing me up. I want to talk about chalice corals today. <laughs> you're messing up the video. So, specifically, not just chalice corals, this chalice coral right here, which is commonly known as the, anyone know? Hollywood Stunner. I don't know why I was waiting for a response, like, like you guys could actually answer back. But you will be able to one day because we're going to do that live stream. Um, what can I tell you about this coral? The Latin name, I'll start with that. It's a Echnopora lamellosa. Doesn't that sound nice? It just rolls off the tongue, lamellosa. So Echnopora or is basically, that's referring to chalice. That's what we call a lot of chalice corals. I think there's 20 different varieties of chalice coral. Why I'm talking about this one, it's the easiest one to keep in my opinion and for sure the fastest growing. It's sort of a plating variety. Let me see if I have some other chalice corals here in the tank I can show you just for maybe a reference. I gotta have, gotta have some other chalice. Is that chalice? Nope, nope, nope. Oh, this looks like chalice over here. This is a different type. Same family, it's LPS coral, it's gonna be Echnopora, but different Latin, sort of the second half of the name. This is also chalice over here. This is some nice chalice. What do you know? Some more chalice. Chalice can get very, very expensive. Some of the most expensive corals out there are chalice corals. I would say tied with some of the bounce mushrooms, torch corals in recent years have also gone very, very expensive. This, thankfully, not so expensive. I have this black background here just so it kind of makes the coral pop up uh, a little bit better on camera. This is relatively cheap, and I think because it's so easy to keep and easy to grow, this was traded in recently from one of our local friend, farmer, reefer, um, Quake, here, here local in Toronto, he, he traded it into us. So this is a very common piece that we see come back into the store for trade because from no time, from a small frag, maybe the size of a quarter, to this, hmm, how long would we say, guys? For uh, six months. Six months, that's what I was gonna say, same thing. Six months from quarter size to, this is a, I would call it a colony. It's about four, five inches across, maybe three inches this way. And I keep saying easy to keep because that's what it is. Very, very easy to keep. I would stick it about halfway up in a tank. So let me, let me just give you an example here with our our mixed reef tank that is bouncing back so nicely. Where would I put it? Let's say this was my aquarium at home. Well, this is my home, Frag Box. This is where I am 24 seven. I have no life, but if I was gonna put it in this tank, it has a sting. So I wanna give it some space. I would probably stick it right over, over somewhere over here. And it's a weird piece. That's why I'm actually doing the video on it, one, it's a classic. It's been around as long as I've been in the hobby, so a couple thousand years, no, maybe 15 years. It's a classic piece. It's so well known and it doesn't get confused with any other coral. Hollywood Stunner is such a commonly accepted trade name for this kind of chalice. There's no confusing it with anything else out there. Now, the weird thing about this coral, it is a chalice coral, but it behaves. Behaves, is that the word? Do corals behave? No. It, it grows and acts different than I would expect for any chalice coral. So typically chalice grows very slowly, painfully so. I wish it grew faster, especially the rainbow dynamite chalice, which is a crazy, crazy chalice coral. This one grows fast. It's the exact opposite. Usually chalice in crust. This one actually plates, similar to a Montipora. Chalice is kind of thicker, uh, kind of encrusting. This is super thin. Uh, when I say thin, I mean like, here, for the purpose of the video, like a Monty Crap. That's exactly it, Tia's behind me. Uh, she just said Monty Crap. It grows like a Monty Pora in these plates. I kind of wish I had a bigger piece to show you. But when I say thin, I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying at all here. There's a frag, look at that. I mean, I'm, bare, I'm picking it up with the weight of the coral and look how it breaks, very brittle. Super easy to frag, as you can see. Look at that, we just made two frags. Welcome to Frag Box, that's what we do. But I'm gonna cut this up shortly with the bandsaw that we have downstairs. That's why I wanted to do the video because it's just a nice big piece. Thought this would be a great time to capture some of the content. It's highly aggressive. It sends out some sweeper tentacles. I don't understand how that works. 
okay? I am here on the channel and talking to you about what I do know. I don't understand how sweeper tentacles work. Corals still confuse me. Is it a plant? Is it an animal? Is it a tree? There's this symbiotic bacteria that's feeding it, it's calcifying, and there's, it sends out sometimes this helicopter sweeper tentacle of death around it to clear some space. Highly aggressive coral, like a lot of LPS corals. Hammer corals, the same. Uh, Octospawns, torch corals. Most corals, I'm gonna say most corals in the LPS family, that's large polyps stony, are aggressive. This is no exception. Also aggressive, you gotta give it some space. But, like I said, the good thing is that when it starts to grow, which it will do, because the thing is just made to grow. The growth is explosive, it's not invasive. So what does that mean when I say explosive but not invasive? We have Xenia. I've done a video on this, I'll link it in the description actually. This is Pulsing Xenia. One of my personal favorite corals. It's a soft coral, it's easy to keep. Look at this magic. I should really go grab the new macro lens I just picked up to show you how cool that, the lens is awesome. We can get even, even, even closer. Maybe let me go quickly grab it. And so I can justify the purchase of $2,000. One sec. Okay, there we are with our macro lens. Look at that. Is that not cool? What a cool freaking animal. So what I was trying to say was the Hollywood Stunner, it's explosive in growth, very, very fast growing. If you're looking for a coral to fill in a space in your tank with a blue, green sort of color, Look for that, non-invasive, super easy to frag. It's not gonna take over. Pulsing Xenia, on the other hand, explosive growth can also be invasive. So I would never go and glue this coral directly onto my rock work. What I normally recommend to people is to attach it. Man, I'm mesmerized just watching it here through the camera. It's such a cool coral. But I would go and glue it to a rock that is really, really easy to move, or what we call, um, what do we call them? Kind of like an isolated island. Kind of put it on the sand bed, put it on something that's super easy to manage because this piece can and will, and maybe that's the question of the day. You know, what's your experience with pulsing Xenia? This is sort of feeling like a sidetrack because I started talking about chalice coral and now we're talking about pulsing Xenia. But I just really wanted to show you this coral. I'm in love with it. Let me swoop over here to the Hollywood Stunner and tell you some more fun facts. These little green dots you see, these are the eyes. So it grows in a plate-like formation. Imagine like a dinner plate, but it also plates kind of over top of itself. I, I wish I had a larger piece here to give you an example. I'm gonna add one actually to our display tank that I was showing you earlier. I really like this coral. It's a classic and I like having corals in that display tank over there that we grow in-house. So this is something we grow in the basement because we'll have a frag here in our frag system. And then sometimes I find it's hard for hobbyists maybe new hobbyists to envision what a coral is going to look like when it's bigger. So what I try to do is if we're growing it and we have lots of frags available of it, I try to have a larger piece in the display tank so I can take them over and say, hey, come with me, look at this. This is what it's going to look like hopefully one day in your tank as it grows out. It gets uh, color variation. There's not much, at least for this one. Damn, I already forgot the Latin name. This type of Echnopora, this type of chalice. Typically we find it in this color. You're not gonna find it in reds or pinks or rainbow. You're almost always gonna see it kind of in this bluey, bluey sort of green. This is about, I would say this is textbook. For Hollywood Stunner, this is what you wanna see in terms of color. And it's got a ton of eyes. Sometimes under different lights and different flow, the eyes get more spread out. As you can see with this one, it's way, 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 way more clustered together. They're really tight. And I think that's about it. I can't really can you think of anything else to say. Highly, I told them highly aggressive. Let's do a recap. Okay, easy to keep, easy to frag, easy to grow. You're not gonna do any gardens of this one because it's really only the one type. It's gonna sting anything it touches. And I hope you are enjoying our new lens because I really, really like it. And if you tell me you like it, then I'll feel a little less bad about spending the money on it. So we have done a lot of other coral spotlights. If you go and if you're not already subscribed to the channel, I invite you to go ahead and do that now. We've done spotlights, kind of these coral care videos on Xenia, on green star polyps, on hammer corals. We've done them on acans. I don't think I can list all of them in the description below, but they're all part of a playlist we have here on YouTube. We call it coral spotlights, or some of them we'll call the secret to keeping, like the secret to keeping zoanthids, which is our 
number one highest view count, best performing video that we've ever put out there. I guess probably one of the most popular corals. Our torch coral video did really well. If there's a coral video, if you're looking for help, or, oh, we just did the Ghani one too that's out there. Ghanipora, Alvipora, flower pots. If there's a certain kind of coral you'd like to see us do this kind of video on, feel free to mention in the comments or email us, hit us up. If you don't already know, we are a store that specializes in saltwater corals here in Toronto, Ontario. We're open seven days a week. We also do a reef related video seven days a week. Crazy, I know. We're gonna wrap this one up. I have a trouble wrapping up videos. If you're new to the channel, you know that it's hard for me to stop talking. So we'll just call this one quits. Thank you for watching and tuning in to today's episode of Fragbox TV. I'm your host, March, and this is my co-host, Tia. And that's how we're gonna keep it. Thanks guys for watching. Have a good night.